Happy week number eight and final week of human development. It's amazing to think that our summer session will be coming to a close in a matter of days, but that is the case. This is week number eight and we're wrapping it up. So last week we talked about adulthood, middle adulthood, we should say from 25 to 65. You, again, submitted paper number three, and I'll need a little bit of time to get that back to you, since I will have lots of things to grade right now. You also had an activity, or your reflection, I should say, in which you were to pose a question to me. And I really appreciate how many of you have engaged with this activity and taken the both the time and the kind of perseverance to put yourself out there and ask some really, really challenging questions um, about either you or about your relationships or about others. And I'm happy to address that. But again, um, many of you asked multiple questions, which is fine. I'm happy about that too. So again, I'll just, I need a little bit of time in getting all of the different responses back to you because I do want to make sure I I kind of give you some content and some background into why I would suggest um, this course of action or this answer or whatever it be. So good job and trying to gain as much as you can out of this human development course because again, that's what it's about. You growing um, and you then therefore understanding others and their growth. So we wrap that up. Um, this week we are talking about aging. So chapter 23, 24, and 25, we talk about aging. This is kind of, again, my wheelhouse, if you will. My master's degree is in the field of gerontology, which is the study of aging. And I love working with the elderly. I have served um, at, in administrative capacities in nursing homes, in senior living facilities, and Meals on Wheels, and different programs that serve seniors. So I've done a lot of work um, with this age group and trying to provide services for this age group. So again, we'll learn a lot about aging and kind of what you hopefully can experience, right? Because again, as you learn in, in your PowerPoints and in your videos and things is, is that hopefully we will all age because either you age or you die early, right? One or the other. If you're not aging, then something happened that you're not around to age. And so we want to actually have all of us go through the aging process and hopefully be sensitive to those who are going through it right now. So you have those chapters, and then we have the final chapter. So the epilogue in our textbook is on death and dying, and it's, it's really, it's not a chapter on, on development because we've died. However, there's a lot to learn around grief and loss and um, what that's like and how we all process grief and we mourn differently. And so um, it's good that we're kind of going through that final chapter also. So your activity uh, for week number eight was to kind of do a little questionnaire on aging and kind of what you think of it, because I think it's, it's pretty enlightening to realize that some of what you thought um, may be very different for you as you age, for all of us, I should say, as we age. Money is a huge issue, retirement, what we think about those things. And so that's what that is, that little quiz or survey that you took about aging. Um, in addition, you'll have your final reflection, which is kind of an open-ended reflection. So here, you are just going to process whatever you would like to process. What was the entire summer session like for you in human development? Um, if for many of you, this was your first online class, what was this process like for you? Will you do it again? Um, what do you want to know more about when it comes to development as far as yourself and things of that nature? But you know, it's, this is your space, so however you would like to process, that's what you'll do for your final reflection. So there's two things you can look forward to or coming about this, this week. I will still post, I should say. The first one is going to be I'll be posting a study session video for exam number four. So exam number four will open up on Tuesday, and it will close on Thursday. So be aware that because of the schedule for our summer session, this is a short week for us. So um, your final exam number four needs to be taken by Thursday. So uh, look for that maybe tomorrow, Monday, and um, or I should say today, Monday. Um, I will be posting up your final, re final study session for exam number four. In addition, I'm also going to post up hopefully something to get some evaluative feedback. So for all of my classes, again, I really enjoy teaching. I love making these classes as pertinent or as um, something that you take a lot away from. 
And so I always want to improve. So I would appreciate if you have any time to fill out a survey um, that I'm going to be posting up on maybe some of your favorite activities, um, how this went for you in this class, and how we can improve the class. I really do appreciate it. Uh, finally, of course, I also appreciate any feedback you can offer on Rate My Professor or other mechanisms. I like Rate My Professor because RateMyProfessor.com is a tool that is really student driven, meaning that it is students evaluating faculty that they have taken one of their classes before. And so I think that as a student, you will gain a lot from looking up reviews on Rate My Professor. So like for next semester, if you are looking at a couple different professors that teach the same class you want, you might look at Rate My Professor first before you make the decision because you're gonna get some really good feedback from students on the type of teaching style that the professors have, the type of assignments, um, what the experience was like for them. So again, I do appreciate if you have any time to go on Rate My Professor and provide your honest feedback. And by all means, I'm not at all asking for you to say anything that you don't feel, but I appreciate your feedback on RateMyProfessor.com. So this week again, we will be wrapping up with exam number four. Um, you will have your activity and your final reflection. This week, I did open this module eight early, so hopefully you've already been kind of processing some of these things, but I will have our study session video ready to go. And then please keep in touch by, any, by all means. If you um, have questions about classes for the future or you have questions about any issues, I um, try to look at my role as a instructor as being all inclusive and as not being something that just ends with our semester. In other words, it's really hard to make connections and relationships with faculty at a junior college because you typically see us for one or two classes and then you've, you've moved on. And um, so I do, again, always offer students the opportunity to stay connected. I have other students from my classes that I've stayed connected with for years. So I'm happy to do that. If you, again, if I can be of any support to you, my ultimate goal is to have you be a successful college student and for you to reach your full potential. That would be wonderful because that makes you a better person and I'm investing in the future of our nation here. So I'm happy to be available to you with any questions, any issues, anything that I can help you with. But it's been fun for me. Um, believe it or not, this is my very first completely online class. So I have usually typically teach face to face and I've done some hybrid. So I've done some half online, half face to face. But this summer was actually, this is actually my very first completely online class. I liked it more than I thought I would. I was really worried that I would not enjoy it at all. But I have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed some of the feedback and the questions and issues that you've brought to my attention and helping you to learn uh, the material as best I can. Um, I, I will say I do like that face-to-face -face interaction. However, um, this is actually my first online class. So any feedback you can provide is, is really helpful for me to continue to adjust and improve for the future. So I will go ahead and sign off. I hope you're all looking to register for fall and looking forward to an exciting semester in the fall. And again, this has been fun and great. And I'm very proud of all of you who have stuck with it and committed and finished the papers and assignments and tests and all of that. I'm really proud of you. So I look forward to some awesome things that you bring forward in the future. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.